Dwayne here, Phoenix Type Air. Got a facet. I think this is a T1 model, portable, on the bench, straight from Sweden. Well, don't know if it's straight from Sweden, but it's here from Sweden. Okay, so this is all cleaned up. It's got the super smooth carriage. Type bars are all flushed out and very responsive. Very happy typewriter. But what we're going to look at today is the ribbon. So, this takes a special ribbon because it's got larger spindle shafts here. So that won't accommodate your regular ribbon will not fit on there. The plastic one or nice vintage metal one will not fit. The hole is not big enough to fit down there. So it needs one of these European style uh, ribbons which will fit. So this will fit like that right there. The hole is just a little bit bigger. Or, you know, worst case scenario, you could probably use an Olivetti ribbon in here. It's a little, little loose. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Because that little, oh, there it goes. The spindle's got to line up. It probably would work. But what I found out was, just by looking at this, is this piece is removable right here. This is like a, a collar. So I've already removed this one over here. And what that looks like is just this spring piece. Let's see if I can find it over here. I got lost it. Here it is. Okay, so the spring piece looks just like that. And it fits over the shaft. Like that, all the way down. But you can manipulate it off by just uh, grabbing the tip of it right here. You can find a little edge where it starts right there, with your fingernail, and just give it a little push up like that. And then this will come right off. Just twist it and it comes right off. So now this will accommodate a standard vintage spool like that perfectly. Fits perfect. So the uh, owner of the machine said it was okay to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. And it fits a perfect Americanized spool hole. So now they're both uh, spindles are ready. So I am going to just drop in this ribbon right here. This has an eyelid in it, just like it's got reversing forks here. So let's put it through the fork, put it on the shaft, put it through the fork, like that. And let's feed it up here through the guide. Real quick, and uh, see how this thing goes. It's a little, looks like it's a little different than most. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So that's a neat little uh, trick we can do on the facet. If you have one of these facets and you want to use a regular ribbon, you can just do it that way. Oops. Looking good there. Alright, so that's my video hack of the day. Different, fixing up that ribbon spindle, accommodate a standard ribbon. Alright, this facet is pretty neat. It's got the facet on the back here too. Very nice. Very nice heavy duty portable. Alright, Phoenix Typewriter. Good day.